Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK into your homes, onto your phones, into your world, into your space. Thank you very much for passing through on my station, well, on my channel, and you're welcome to click the thumbs up, the thumbs down, you're welcome to share, you're welcome to subscribe. You can always look at the comments of my subscribers, you can comment yourself. Yeah, and that's the way we roll on this channel. I tend to talk about a variety of subjects. Nothing is the same. I change my subjects like I change the colour of my hair or my hairstyle. So that will give you a feel of what this channel is like. It's a no-thrills channel, so there's no fancy gadgets, not, nothing going across the screens and all that kind of stuff. Very, very basic. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about, the other day I, I did a video about how the corona, how black skin and repels the coronavirus um, and I'm not taking that back because I don't know the colour of the seven people that have died across Africa but bearing in mind Africa has a population of 1.216 billion people and only seven deaths and that's like in Egypt it's like in um uh, where are they? Oh, well, they're not in. Let me. I've opened up my. I've opened up my big mouth now, so I'm going to have to tell you which parts of Africa they are. So we have two in Egypt, two deaths in Egypt. Should I be putting my finger in my mouth after touching paper? No, I shouldn't. Bad habit, especially in these times. I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to refrain from doing that. Um, and we have four in Algeria. We have one in Morocco. And for some reason, I know they're in Africa, but I always think about Sub-Saharan Africa. There's none in Sub-Saharan Africa. And there is... Where's the last one? Maybe I have. I said seven already. Maybe I have. Maybe I have said seven already. Oh no, there's one in Sudan. So yeah, that is the total in Africa who have the coronavirus. So I think that's pretty good going when you think about the size of the population. Now, what am I here to talk to you about today? I'm here to talk about infections... The coronavirus doesn't like the heat. So um, you'll find the areas where it's hottest, there's less um, deaths. I'm not saying there's not cases. And like I said, cases range from the mild cough, the mild cold, to res respiratory problems and to death. So we're talking, when they're talking about cases, um, the majority of places have got cases. Not all. I'm going to give you, I'm going to let you know how many deaths and how many cases in each country in a moment. In the 156 countries where the coronavirus resides. Okay, so infections outside China have been reported by 156 countries. Mayotte, a French Indian ocean island, and that's now they put that under Africa. Apparently, so that's given um, Africa another. Um, I don't know why they'll put a French Indian Ocean island in Africa, but hey, I guess when they don't know what to do with it, they'll just stick it in Africa. And Uzbekistan reported their first cases, but not deaths. Um, Slovenia has had its first fatality. Um, and it's amazing how some of these isolated places like Mayotte can actually. Um, that the coronavirus ends up there. It's really, really bizarre. Well, I guess there's people in Mayotte that travel around the place, and that's what happens. Okay, on Friday the 13th, which was last Friday, the World Health Organization warned that Europe has now become the epicenter for the pandemic called COVID ID. So I will say COVID ID, COVID 19, reporting more daily cases than China did at the height of its outbreak, possibly because, well, I should possibly because they're the coldest country, but 
China's actually withdrawing now. There's hardly any deaths now reporting in China. It's actually maintaining, and so that's a good sign. Um, I understand that there's a, a Cuban cure that they've taken to China. I hope it's working. I hope they can spread it around the world. Let's hope so. Uh, the pandemic global death toll has reached... 5,000 according to WHO, but this figure kind of changes. Reuters kind of says it's 6,500. So we don't know what figures we're playing with. I don't know whether we should go with WHO, which to me is a more credible source, or Reuters. Um, so the global number of cases have surpassed 132,000 according to WHO, which is the Health Agency of the United Nations. About 68,000 victims have recovered, which is good news. We don't really hear much about how many recover, do we? So 68,000, and I think, when did this come out? I think this came out yesterday or this morning. So about 68,000 victims have recovered, according to John Hopkins University, which is tracking the virus. Meanwhile, the virus has spread to at least 18 countries on the African continent, with Kenya, Ethiopia, Sudan, Guinea, all confirming their first cases on Friday, but no deaths. And like I said, we do not know the extent of the cases that they're reporting. I mean, now they're saying, um, you know, if you've got a continuous cough or if you've got a bit of a temperature, you have to self-isolate. And um, and that is considered that is considered a case for the coronavirus. So, you know, when you're thinking about cases, it does kind of conjure up a picture of everybody with this serious, this serious part of coronavirus when it may not be. OK, estimates of deaths rate change from Reuters, Reuters who claim around 6,526, and who WHO, who alleged 5,000. Except for the two deaths in Egypt and one in Guyana, and we do not know if they are elderly or visiting. Um, yeah, we do not know the um, status of these people who are dying in these hot countries, because I'd, li I'd like to have that as, you know, to see whether or not it's true. You know, to see whether or not those people that who died had melanin in their skin or maybe they were elderly or I don't know in Africa um, the coronavirus seems to be staying away from the hot countries where there are dark skinned people so it doesn't look like the coronavirus likes heat or melanin and the darker the skin the more likely you are to be safe um, okay so Last updated 16th of March 2020, countries where COVID-19 has spread according to Worldometer. 158 countries and territories around the world have reported a total of 171,105 confirmed cases of the coronavirus, COVID-19, that originated from Wuhan, China, and a death toll of 6,000 526. Now, we all, China's saying that it's America that put it in China, so we don't know. Anyway, let's tell, let me, I'm going to tell you the country, the cases, the deaths, and the region. So you might want to put me on pause and go and get yourself a cuppa or get that nice glass of wine or whatever it is you drink and come back and if you're interested in this aspect. So, okay, the country, cases, deaths, and region. China, 80,866. Deaths, 3,213. Well, we know the region is Asia. I don't know if I need to tell you the region. I'm just gonna tell you the cases and the deaths. Italy, 24,747 cases, 1,809 deaths. Iran, 13,938 cases, 724 deaths. South Korea, 8,236 cases, 75 deaths. Spain, 
7,988 cases and 294 deaths. I didn't realize Spain had so many deaths. Germany, eight, sorry, 5,813 cases, 13 deaths. France, 5,423 cases, 127 deaths. United States, 3,802 cases, 69 deaths. It's quite amazing that some of these larger countries have got lower cases and deaths than some of the smaller countries. I find that fascinating. Switzerland, 2,217 cases, 14 deaths. Japan, plus Diamond Princess, 1,536 cases, 32 deaths. United Kingdom, 1,391 cases, 35 deaths. Norway, 1,258 cases, 3 deaths. Netherlands, 1,135 cases, 20 deaths. Sweden, 1,040 cases, 3 deaths. Did I say that? I think I got that wrong. Okay, let me go back. Sorry, Netherlands, 1,135 cases, 20 deaths. Sweden, 1,040 cases, 3 deaths. Austria, 959 cases, 2 deaths. Denmark, 898 cases, 4 deaths. Belgium, 886 cases, 4 deaths. Malaysia, 428 cases, but no deaths. Qatar, 401 cases, but no deaths. Australia, 375 cases and 6 deaths. Canada, 341 cases and 1 death. Greece, 331 cases and 4 deaths. Czech Republic, 298 cases but no deaths. Finland, 264 cases, no deaths. Israel, 250 cases, no deaths. Portugal, 245 cases, no deaths. Singapore, 226 cases, no deaths. Bahrain, 221 cases, one death. Slovenia, 219 cases, one death. Brazil, 203 cases, no deaths. Iceland, 180 cases, no deaths. Estonia, 171 cases, no deaths. Ireland, 170 cases, two deaths. Romania, 158 cases, zero deaths. Poland, 150, 150 cases, three deaths. Hong Kong, 149 cases, four deaths. Philippines, 140 cases, 12 deaths. Egypt, 126 cases, 2 deaths. Iraq, or Iraq, 124 cases, 10 deaths. Kuwait, 123 cases, 0 deaths. Saudi Arabia, 118 cases, 0 deaths. Sometimes I say no deaths and sometimes I say 0 deaths. Sorry for the inconsistency. Indonesia, 117 cases, 5 deaths. India, 115 cases, 2 deaths. Thailand, 114 cases, 1 death. Lebanon, 110 cases, 3 deaths. San Marino, 109 cases, 7 deaths. United Arab Emirates, 98 cases, 0 deaths. Pakistan, 94 cases, 0 deaths. Luxembourg, 77 cases, 1 death. Chile, 75 cases, 0 deaths. Peru, 71 cases, 0 deaths. Russia, 63 cases, 0 deaths. 
Slovakia, 61 cases, zero deaths. South Africa, 61 cases, zero deaths. Taiwan, 59 cases, one death. Vietnam, 57 cases, zero deaths. Argentina, 56 cases, two deaths. Croatia, 56 cases, zero deaths. Panama, 55 cases, one death. Serbia, 55 cases, zero deaths. Algeria, 54 cases, four deaths. Mexico, 53 cases, zero deaths. Bulgaria, 52 cases, two deaths. Brunei, 50 cases, zero deaths. Colombia, 45 cases, zero deaths. Albania, 42 cases, one death. Hungary, 39 cases, one death. State of Palestine, 38 cases, zero deaths. Ecuador, 37 cases, two deaths. Costa Rica, 35 cases, zero deaths. Latvia, 34 cases, zero deaths. Georgia, 33 cases, zero deaths. Cyprus, 33 cases, zero deaths. Armenia, 30 cases, zero deaths. Morocco, 28 cases, one death. Belarus, 27 cases, zero death. Azerbaijan, 25 cases, one death. Senegal, 24 cases, zero death. Bosnia and Herzegovina, 24 cases, zero death. Moldova, 23 cases, zero death. Oman, 22 cases, zero death. death. Afghanistan, 21 cases, zero deaths. Malta, 21 cases, zero deaths. Tunisia, 20 cases, zero deaths. North Macedonia, 19 cases, zero deaths. You can see I'm waning. Sri Lanka, 19 cases, zero deaths. Turkey, 80 cases, zero deaths. Venezuela, 17 cases, zero deaths. Jordan, 15 cases, zero deaths. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure the logic of how they've done this, because it's not in alphabetical order. It's not done in the number of cases and the number of deaths. So I'm not quite sure how they put this in. It's just... Anyway, I don't think I've got much further to go. <clears throat> I think I said Venezuela, 17, zero deaths. Jordan, 15 Cases, zero deaths. Martinique, 15 cases, zero deaths. Lithuania, 14 cases, zero deaths. I'm going faster now because I want to get through it. My goodness gracious me, why did I take on this task? Maldives, 13 cases, zero deaths. Cambodia, 12 cases, zero deaths. Dominican Republic, 11 cases, zero deaths. Macau, 11 cases, zero deaths. Faroe Islands, 11 cases, zero deaths. Bolivia, 10 cases, zero deaths. Jamaica, 10 cases, zero deaths. Pakistan, 9 cases, zero deaths. Reunion, 9 cases, zero deaths. New Zealand, 8 cases, zero deaths. Uruguay, 8 cases, zero deaths. Paraguay, 8 cases, zero deaths. Bangladesh, 8 cases, zero deaths. Guyana, Seven cases, one death. French Guiana, seven cases, zero deaths. Liechtenstein, seven cases, zero deaths. Honduras, six, six cases, zero deaths. Uzbekistan, six cases, zero deaths. Guadeloupe, six cases, zero deaths. Ghana, six cases, zero deaths. Ukraine, five cases, one death. Andorra, Five cases, zero deaths. Rwanda, five cases, zero deaths. Puerto Rico, five cases, zero deaths. Cote d'Ivoire, four cases, zero deaths. Trinidad and Tobago, four cases and zero deaths. Cameroon, four cases and zero deaths. Cuba, four cases and zero deaths. Ethiopia, four cases and zero deaths. Guam, three cases and zero deaths. Kenya. Three cases and zero deaths. French Poly Polynesia, that's three cases and zero deaths. Seychelles, 
Three cases, zero deaths, Burkina Faso. Three cases, zero deaths, St. Barthélemy. Three cases, zero deaths, Channel Islands. Three cases, zero deaths, Guatemala. Two cases, one death. Monaco, two cases, zero deaths. Doesn't it sound like I'm talking bingo? Somebody's going to say bingo or house. Nigeria, two cases, zero. Namibia, two cases, zero deaths. Democratic Republic of Congo, two cases, zero deaths. St. Martin, two cases, zero deaths. Aruba, two cases, zero deaths. St. Lucia, two cases, zero deaths. Curacao, two cases, zero deaths. Sudan, one case, one death. Nepal, one case, zero death. Liberia, one case, zero deaths. Antigua and Bar uh, Barbuda, one case, zero deaths. U.S. Virgin Islands, Guinea, oh, sorry, U.S. Virgin Islands, one case, zero deaths. Did I say Antigua and Barbuda? One case, zero deaths. Okay. U.S. Virgin Islands, one case, zero deaths. Guinea, one case, zero deaths. Togo, one case, zero deaths. Holy See, one case, zero deaths. I've never even heard of Holy See. Holy See is in Europe. Gabon, one case, zero deaths. Eswantini. Never even heard of that. Eswantini. That's, that's in Africa. One case, zero deaths. Suriname. One case, zero deaths. Cayman Islands, one case, zero deaths. Equatorial Guinea, one case, zero deaths. Bhutan, one case, zero deaths. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, one case, zero deaths. Congo, one case, zero deaths. Mongolia, one case, zero deaths. Mayotte, that's the one we started off with. One case, zero deaths. Mauritania, one case, zero deaths. Two more. Gibraltar, one case, zero deaths. Bahamas, one case, zero deaths. And Central African Republic, one case, zero deaths. Oh, I should have put a glass of water on the table. But there you have it, Pips. All of the countries, the cases, and you can put it into perspective. And you can do with that information whatever you will. Like I said, you can um, get the information, check Worldometer if you want to double check the figures. I think it updates it all the time. And I hope you found it useful. Bye-bye.